Hi, I'm Saoirse from Ireland and you're watching What Michael's Doing Right Now. <laughs> bye. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> you never got to touch me. <laughs> it's so sad. Ooh. Yawning again, I see. Yeah. And just like that, Chris was gone, leaving a Chris sized hole in our hearts. Mm. Right, Kat? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Marcus, this is the first time um, I've been to your apartment. Hey, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I'm wondering why you have a tarantula plant. I, I thought that was. Some sort of animal too. Oh, honestly. that's that's Nate's. I don't know. Nate's a big. What is that? Uh, the ceiling above it used to leak, which was really effective. Wait, for, for, my for water, I put all my stuff on my bun. No. Ready? Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You're the best. Got my berry tray. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Marcus. Thanks for joining me. I love you guys. Love we you love so you much. too. Oh, yay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm on my way into the office to find out what's on my schedule for the day. Well, well, well. What have we got here, Todd? Oh, we got some some sweet cinema shirts. Thanks. Look at that. That's a small. I think it's gonna fit perfectly. So look at the front, and then swoop, swoop. Dang. Look at the oh. back. Dang. There's a front and a back to that shirt. Huh. Swoop, swoop. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Today we're writing a 12-page blurb. We're going to Monkey Bar Gymnasium. We're having a meeting about a thermal camera. I need to get Abby an American Express card, proof some vlog stuff, work on Cape Tectonic stuff. Apparently at the same time a SciShow meeting is happening, so one of those two things is not gonna happen. We've got our weekly Skype call at 5.30, and then more Cape Tectonic stuff until seven. The 12 page is a booklet that has 12 pages in it that we are using as promotional material for VidCon. Last year at VidCon, we took some of these 12-page booklets with us. That's how we landed the B&H deal, where they send us stuff for free that we can try out for 30 days and send it back. This year, we're adding a page to it where we are showing off all of the instances in which people in the comments have said, I went to Chipotle because of Michael, or I went to Potbelly because of Michael, or I tried out this camera because of what Michael said, so that we can show to brands that uh, my audience is engaged and they should work with me. On that note, if you ever decide to try a food or a product or a service because of something that I've said or done, please let us know in the comments or on Twitter or somewhere where we can screenshot it and add it to our list because that helps us sell ourselves to other companies. And it's becoming increasingly obvious to me that that is a necessary part of how this business that I'm trying to build is going to become financially successful in the long run. YouTube AdSense revenue is just so hilariously bad. When Chris was here a few days ago, we were talking about how if it weren't for Patreon, like he wouldn't be able to do what he was doing. We wouldn't be able to do what we are doing. Thank goodness for that. Also, if you're not currently supporting us on Patreon, maybe you have a dollar to spare. At the $1 level, you'll get access to our monthly Patreon live streams, 
We just had one last Saturday. Chris was there as well, and we had a really deep conversation about forgiveness. And we also uh, tested those miracle berry things where you coat your tongue with some kind of substance that blocks certain receptors so that lemons taste weird. It's not weird. It makes the lemons taste sweet. At least in theory. I don't really feel like it worked for me. But anyway, it's gym time. How's it going? Good. Mm -hmm. You ready to work out? Always. Okay. You, uh, you did a workout, so you get some snacks now. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Good job. Well, I have to go back to work now. I know, it sucks. Yeah. It's not fun. But work is fun, right? I'm about to have a conference call. These people contacted us and wanted to send us a thermal camera to play with. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do with it? I... I know, we can go in, into the woods and see animals. Abby. Yes. What are you doing? Uh, I am counting merch so that we can know what to take to VidCon. Look at all these pencils though. Mm. You can get those. What? What you got there, Kyla? Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is Zach Efron. Uh huh. Hi. Hi. Why is he in our meeting? <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> you have a valid point. <laughs> so we got a a new toy from B and H today. It's a toy that we've gotten from B&H before, but I wanted to play with again on our trip down to California for VidCon. Sony Alpha 7 S Mark II. If you were around last December, you'll remember this as the camera that could see in the dark. And here we have it yet again. Oh, what the heck? It was sunny. It's gonna rain. But it was sunny. It was sunny. I wanted to fly my drone. I wanted to have sun. There's a bird on the garage, on that corner right there. Do you think it'll run away if I go outside? And by run, I mean fly. <laughs> oh. Bye. Oh, there was a kitty right there. Ooh. Stalking that bird. You think the cat's mad at me for scaring away his lunch? It's windy outside. Guess what? Greg Gianforte got sentenced today. Did he plead guilty? He did plead guilty. Uh-huh. And he was sentenced to like a $385 fine. He has to complete 40 hours of community service. And he has to complete like 30 hours of anger management classes. That's how I feel about that. Hey, there's another rainbow. So pretty. Dang. There's kind of a double rainbow thing over there too. Oh yeah. That's like twice in a week. Twice in a week. That's crazy. The sun is setting. The sun is setting. Is she running barefoot on asphalt? That is a wild one. Okay, it's been a while since I used this camera. So I'm testing it out while Caitlin's driving for some low light camera action. Mm -hmm. What is that focused on right now? Your face. It's focused on your face. Is I really it need close? It's like here-ish. I need an external monitor for this thing if I want to use it in the car. I can't see the screen on the back of the camera very well. I can use the black magic thing that I have. I just need to get a mini HDMI to regular HDMI cable. I'm also testing this camera out on a new mount that I have in the car. It's got three suction cups holding it to the windshield, so it should be pretty stable, at least relative to the car itself. I can tell, however, that it's got some, some jiggliness from the rolling shutter going on right now, which 
be remedied a bit if I zoomed out. Zooming in always makes that worse. Also, the battery is running out on this thing, which isn't great. Okay, this was my best guess for this being in focus while looking at me. I can't see the screen, so I'm not sure. I just kind of had to guesstimate, but this is what car vlogging looks like. This camera has nine different picture profiles, and right now I'm shooting with picture profile eight, which is called S-Log3, theoretically giving the flattest image possible on this camera, which translates to the highest dynamic range, which itself translates to theoretically more detail between the darkest dark and the brightest bright in the image. Probably during the daytime, I don't know if we'll have time tomorrow, but at some point I'll be able to test out some dynamic range differences between the picture profiles and show you what I'm talking about.